Welcome to episode two of Jed Talks in our new studio, aka Sam's house, including a sleeping sofa, which you cannot see. We have a new guest today, Katie. Say hello. Hello. And we have our recurring guests who you know already. We are going to kick off. Oh, just to say, this video is sponsored by Jaffa Cakes. Get your protein in. Get your carbs, whatever's included. Fruit as well. Wild apple. Perfect quarantine So snack. we are going to kick <laughs> off, as we did last week, with some BuzzFeed quizzes. Um, but them two have done it already. So we're going to kick off with you, Katie. Ooh, lovely. And we have, right, no, that's my one, right. This name quiz will reveal how far away your wedding day is. Oh, Stephen. Oh, Stephen. Right, so let's kick us off. Choose a H name. An H name? That's wrong. Oh, for a H. Is it Haley? Haley. Shout out to Haley from Kings. Haley's comment. I like her. Choose an M name. Oh, uh, I think that you're on. Mila. Mila. Mila Kunis. Choose a popular name. Um, what does that mean? Like they're cool names. Okay. Popular girls okay. have these names. <laughs> shout out to Emma Simpson. Emma Simpson. Keep up the Oh, story. Connor Simpson got a shout in the last day. Choose a C really? name. Well, Char Charlotte's my middle name, so I'll go for that. Oh, oh. Oh. S name. Serenity. That's what Serenity. I Serenity. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I'll go for Serenity. Serenity. Different. Choose a random name. Well, I was going to be caught. Oh, uh, Noah, God Bible, or David. Oh, yes. oh Noah. Noah. Oh, choose a David, David Spider. David, 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 David Faith, Unshakable Faith. Choose a new. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, so Bro oh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Oh, that's so basic. I can, like, five forms. Uh, a nature inspired name. Mm. Ocean. Who I, chose it, I chose Ocean as well. Like Who it. calls it? Pick an A name. Oh. I'm sure if I like Who could snap you with these? Uh, Ashley. And finally choose a random name. Heaven. Heaven. Yes. Ooh. Two years Two from years. now. What's the date oh. today? The What's the date? Friday the 20th. Friday the 20th. I will, I will be 19. There's no way you're going to get married. I'm going to be 19. I'm still, still no. going to um, be Prove us wrong. Right, Please we're going to do one for me. Stephen West is sweating. We know if you've met a lot of... Fishing. <laughs> Pick a shrimp dish. This is, we know if you've met the love of your life based on what seafood you eat. So I need to know if I've actually met my... Pick a shrimp dish. Um, I think this one looks amazing. I thought, I thought the bottom list. They all look quite good, actually. I've had in like like. Oh, a... I've got to scroll with this. Pick a tasty dish. You get like oh a brown crabs. Um, I like brown crabs. Do you deal in brown crabs? Oh, but crab? lobster. Lobster's got to be it. Sorry. I've never had lobster. Pick a fish dish. Um, this one. It looks. Fish. Fish. Pick a crab dish. Now you want the crab claws, but. Oh, a crab, a crab, crab in a burger. Yes, it's got a That's a crabby pie. That's what I was thinking. Pick another tasty dish. Um, I don't really like the mussels, so I'm going to go with them. What is that? It's oh, just gumbo. Burgers. If it's gumbo. It's like a uh, New Orleans fish soup. I'm going to go with this. Soup. This fish. is all a bit wild. Oh, oh I've oh, not oh, met oh, my future oh, lover. Oh. I, so if you've met me... You ain't marrying me. I I had a really Sorry. weird dream. That it was it was my I woke up. No no, I didn't woke up. In the dream, it was my wedding day. And in, in the dream, I just woke up from my bed and I was like, oh, it's my wedding day, and I've never really prepared it. And I mind messaging Chris Duffy like, hey, you come to my wedding today because I've never got a photographer. <laughs> and then I mind thinking in the dream like, oh, does he even care if I'm engaged? And then it was the day of my wedding, so I must have been engaged for a long time. And I mind messaging Luke. Tell him, Luke, oh, invite Dan, because I forgot to invite Dan. And then I mind getting my suit and iron on, walk to the venue and be like, I don't even care if I marry him. Whoa. 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 It's, like, it's like that Netflix blind, was it blind? It's like Love is blind. Love is blind. Love is blind. It's like That's queer, I know. Planned marriage would get us connected with other churches. Wow. They used, they used to do that back in the day. Back in the day. We, we don't encourage that. I think United Night next week was going to be for him. Oh, no, unfortunately. COVID, so, COVID stopped it. COVID. Here we are, back at it with episode two. We've got some more things to discuss. Um, you might have noticed this week we have launched our connect groups within... Well, we've had our connect groups around, but we've been pushing them this week to really keep connected oh, with everyone. Connect groups. If you are not from our youth and you're watching this, um, we encourage your youths to keep connected with these little ideas with WhatsApp. We are going with a Bible study, aren't we? 
Um, yeah, a little cheeky Bible study. Little cheeky Bible study. If you download the U version Bible app, you will. We're working it through it as it as we speak. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. So um, Sam, as the youth pastor, are you want to throw in some thoughts on? As the youth, as the youth pastor, <laughs> yeah, very, keep very professional. How, how, how other ideas to keep connected with us, with us, with the uh, youth specifically. <coughs> keep connected with us. I would say watch our videos. Uh, make sure that you're watching the videos. That will make you, you know, you're not going to miss these faces right here. Faces. Hello. So make sure you're looking at these faces. Uh, we're going to be trying out some Zoom chats and different things like that, but just keep chatting to us. Give a leader a phone call, give someone a phone call, give anyone a phone call. Snapchat. Snapchat. <laughs> Kate Stephen X. Kate Stephen X. TikTok. Kate Stephen Jed Milne. TikTok Jed Milne. TikTok Kate Stephen. We're in like, a, we're in like a, a time in the world where like I always thought it was unsocial to use social media, but now it's all we can do to be social. So. Um, basically, get on social media and be chatting to people, talking to people. If you're not in one of our Coronet groups, uh, Coronet groups, we don't really know how to say that, then, <laughs> then message the one at your Instagram and we can get you plugged into something like that and that will be good. Yep, we'll, we'll be doing this daily. Um, also, we want to keep the banter flowing, so if you guys have challenges that you want us to do, we could start a Jed vs. Katie series. Um, Ooh. It's a bit unfair towards him. Towards, <laughs> towards yeah. me. He's seen my who do you think? Who do you think would win between us? Um, I think you guys should like do an arm wrestle right now. Right now. Right well, now. Get off your chair. I'm gonna you, lose this. Arm in the chair. On, Wait, on the on that on the corner of the chair there. I'm gonna lose. I'm it's gonna, okay. I'm gonna do upper body we, we can't want you to wrestle, Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie is out of frame. Sleeping right Sophie now. Sophie is right. Sophie's asleep. Sophie is asleep. Um, oh. She was snoring earlier, but I think she's kind of... She stopped snoring. She stopped snoring, right, so... We, we are... Why should I? Why should we get on with it? Right, okay. Okay, get off your chair you and do use that. Do a rock, scissors. I know how to do that. Oh, you got on the stage we've, 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 yeah. we've already planted the seed of the air wrestle, so we need to follow through. Right. Can I pass it to you? Hold that, right. Hold on to it. Right, here we go. The real question is here, is Jed going to let Katie win? Whoa! Or is he going to win? Steven, they're hood and hand. Whoa! <laughs> Three mile on the hand hole, bro. Do that to see. Right, let's go. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He's down. I think so. He's gonna kind of okay. Three, go. Wait, I'll turn the ladies. One, go. go. Oh, dead. Oh, oh. I was quite dangerous. I saved, I I saved my masculinity. Yeah. Um, oh, Jed. I'm not actually sure if you did save your masculinity. I feel like you should have let Kate. Ah, uh, yeah, it's pretty. Kind of <laughs> no, that's <laughs> one nil. That's <laughs> Jed one. Uh, Katie nil. Oh. If you think Jed should have let Katie win, then please comment, mm -hmm. let us know. Um, no. How do you feel, Katie? I'm just a Can I ask Katie a question? <laughs> I don't want yeah, to take your job. Throw it out. Katie, you are in the NHS. You're an essential worker. Cool. How can we avoid getting the coronavirus? What can we do? Well, Social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> Which is going on right here, right now. We, right why now. did we arm wrestle? <laughs> you, punch, better punch, your, you better wash your gel. hands before you eat that lint. <laughs> Yeah. Sophie, do you have any hand gel? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Put hand gel on your hands off. There we go. Don't touch it, don't touch it. That's it. Oh. That's it. You, your hands are completely go. clean. Right, my hands are clean. Okay. Your hands are go. clean. Sorry. Right. We're sponsored so by Kate, Toilet Power. Hey, how, how do we do that? Well, just keep washing your hands. Soap and water is better than hand sanitizer. Ooh. Controversial. All right, so if you are inside, use soap and water. Or if, if you are in public, try and use soap and water as much as you can because it's a lot more effective, a lot more better. Mm. But if you are out in public and that's not like, available, just take hand sanitizer with you if you can get and just try and keep your distance from people. It's really Someone told me if you uh, urinate on your hands, it, it destroys the germs. Is that correct? Please try us and let us know your results. Don't. No, 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 no. <laughs> Is that correct? I just think that would be correct, no. Mm, I've never heard that myself, like, but I would doubt that would be correct. Mm. Is this something you've practiced? It's not something you've <laughs> practiced, but you know, so in so it's desperate practiced. times. <laughs> they do, they, you can pee on something to disinfect it, I think. That's where that's probably where it came from. Like, no, if well, you, well, <clears throat> it depends. I, I, I can ask, I'm a doctor. All right, okay. So, well, a doctor in what? In surfs, yeah. in surfs in up. Rhythm. In, Dr. Reed and his <laughs> in Bible. In surfs up, listen. 
in surfs up the Falmer. The Good Falmer, Falmer, by the way. The Falmer penguins that surf. So he steps on a sea urchin. Angel Mackay live action remake, yeah? Continues. <laughs> so he, he steps on a sea urchin and um, then Chicken Joe grabs him out the ocean and to make sure there's no infection, he pees on it. I feel like we should say oh, urinate. So the, we, I feel like urinate's the, more appropriate. Is that what you do with gel, jellyfish things? Yes, oh, that right. must be it. The, oh, I came to somebody that actually got peed on. What? Yep. Because they got stung by a jellyfish. I, can't, I think it, it's somebody, I think it was a you. Wow. It was somebody that reminds no. me of you. It was a quine. No, and I think it was me. Angel, probably Angel. No, she's, no probably I'm sure I've heard that as well. It's somebody like, it was somebody, it wasn't a you, because it was, I heard it a while ago, it was somebody like you. If you'd been stung by a jellyfish, how did you deal with it? Yeah. Did, did you, you kick you, that jellyfish back into the did sea? Did you urinate? Mm -hmm. No. We also want to keep connected to you guys in more fun ways, and we, me and Mark, play PlayStation. So if you guys have, which you shouldn't, Call of Duty, we are on with the lads, Assembly of COD. If you guys want to play with us, any game, WWE, if you want to see us wrestle each other with created characters, let us know fun stuff like Shout that. Shout out to Dolly as well. Dolly's yeah, the, it's Dolly. He's the guy on it every every time in the group chat. Lads, are you on? And then the whole crew's assembled. And we are keeping connected during this difficult time, I guess. Is, if any of you play FIFA, mm. challenge me. Come at me, bro. If you can beat Jed at FIFA, we will. What will we give him? Box of my favourite cereal. Box of Jed's favourite cereal. That'd be some hand sanitizer. If you've <laughs> guessed it by then, if you've guessed it, in fact, this will go live. My answer to last week's question was Frosted Shreddies. That is the best cereal. What's Mark, your what's your favourite cereal? Um, Cocoa Pops Rocks. Ah, not Cocoa Pebbles. Wait, no, Cookie Crisps. Cookie oh. Crisps. Oh. If you get one of those two, then you've Cookie got Crisps. What if you got both? Like Really and then you eat let's DS next week. Next <laughs> week, let's I get a bowl of cookie crisps and cocoa pops rocks and eat them. How long have we been talking for? Um, I've timed it for about six minutes. Ten, okay, fifteen. Nice. No, just, well, check it. Yeah. just keep it. Going. And uh, we'll eat the cereal with a fork and knife. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Say when. <laughs> Flush. Throw back to young lines if any of you were there. Now, um. Was that this year? That was this year. Oh, I, I'm my new eye. I was there. Have you, have, you your, your, have you had your report yet? No. Stephen Dow, get the report <laughs> get in. Get the report in, come on. Message you all guys are watching because. I've messaged like three times and emailed. And I've put in my reports now, so shout out to my youth that I did it for. Um, Jason, if you're watching, keep it real. Ali. Jesus, I, don't think, I don't know if you'll be watching, but if you are, keep fresh. And if you have had your report back, you probably will hate him. Enough. <laughs> and uh, so welcome Kizia, to the yeah, club. keep being you. You're great. That's just a little plug to my. Nice. You want to plug yours? No, really. No, no. We're focused on our youth. One eighty youth. One eighty. Um. So yeah, and if you guys are bored, we want to give you more ideas of what to do. Uh, obviously, read your Bible, listen to worship tunes. Have fun, stay connected. Mark, tell us about the Enneagrams. Well, you just jump straight in it. Well, <laughs> in, in your quarantine, a good thing to do is self discovery. I just into it. Stop just... interrupting me. Thanks, God. you just totally ended me. Do you want a host? Do you want a switch? Yes, I okay, would. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, welcome to Mark Talks. Um, we're here with my See guests. See you in post. Can you please put Mark Talks on there? <laughs> Three, two, one. Magic. And if he's if Mark's had enough time, that'll be there. But if he hasn't, just if I haven't, out. then please forgive me. I'm a busy man. Um, so any so a, a good thing to do in your quarantine is self discovery. So most of us here have done our enneagram, but an enneagram is. It, it's actually got Christian roots. I think it's like judo Christian roots. Um, so it's it, it was adopted by NIK in like the. This is for you to put the, <laughs> the link in. This is this is the the enneagram symbol here. So the enneagram has got nine types. It's got one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine. 
<laughs> there. So there's nine types, and it basically this is the link to follow. Well, the card they click on links. So the logo is here. The nine. So uh, the uh, the spelling will be link there. Below. Yep. Is it still yeah. there? Link yep. is, is it gone? Link down below. It's, it's, in the it's gone. It's gone. So okay. So. So basically, for the Enneagram is, it's a personality test. And it's not, you know what, weird things like the, oh, the stars. No, like we a, don't believe in that. No, no we don't believe in that. The, day, the day you're born and the stars have got nothing to do with your personality, really. Sorry it's based so. Oh, really? En Enneagram. Stars. En Stop en <laughs> this is your podcast yes. and you've got bad rules. So, <laughs> en you need to follow your, you need to follow your own rules. And, and so. Still um, it's You're getting you. <laughs> so, um, end the podcast. No, see, if you, look for, you look for what you've done. Yeah, look for what we've done. No, and then we, you. <laughs> <laughs> right, go, let's go. Let's okay, go. so basically, if we as humans do, we kind of put ourselves in a box a bit. So, the way we're raised, the why we see things, and there's this word for it, I can't mind. It's like, a, I can't mind. But you say your dad, when you grow up, if you're growing up, your dad says, oh, men don't cry. You'll, you'll subconsciously hear that and you'll grow up thinking, oh, men don't agree. But you may necessarily don't agree with what he said, but then subconsciously a part of you will believe it. You'll believe that what he said and then you will almost like assert yourself and put yourself in your dad's position because he said that. And I can't, yeah. there's a word for it, but I can't, that I can't mind. And so Enneagram kind of tacks in the box you put yourself in, how you were raised and... It kind of judges how you how you get value as a person. So I am a four, and it basically it says that my identity stems from the, the my need to be different, pretty much. Really? It, yep. Uh huh. What? Would you <laughs> guess that? <laughs> so, and Sam is a, a two, which is a typical pastor role. So it's it's, it's numbered, so it goes like from one Dolph. to nine. So I'm a four. Le, Sam's a two, which is called the helper. So mine's is, the four is the romantic individualist. Two is the helper. So basically, Sam wants to like help folk. That's ah, he's a boot. He's a boot. He's What's he's boot, he's, boot, he's a boot helping folk. But then some of us are blessed. Yeah, but then if he does not get blessed that help acknowledged, himself. if that help that he gives you does never come get acknowledged, then it can lead to some unhealthy. It does it leads to unhealthy? Yeah. Listen during youth, guys. So, Dana, if you get affection for Sam, honour it because it's I will. Be, yeah. Bow the head, let praise go up to God. And Jed, Jed's a three. Oh, surprise. So, Jed, Jed's identity and his Jed's whole value, his whole idea is success, <laughs> is based on other people's opinion. <laughs> right, I'm getting my so, seat back. So, so, if you right. don't like Jed, then you, that's how you hurt This him. is literally personified. <laughs> like, what just, I fought for Jed talks for so long, but shout out to my friend Samuel who gave the original idea. So, Jed, Jed's whole identity and his whole value system is dependent upon how, how others see him. So, he's, this whole, this even factors in the Jed talks thing. <laughs> So, I'll, before we get bad, I. But Katie has not done hers. And we'll so. do it right now if we have time. Yeah. But they do take Next a lot week. of while. Next week. Next but week. you guys have all the time in the world while you're at home. So, we would really like it if you guys did it and you submit what types you are. And we'll do a little percentage of what our youths at, how much twos yeah. we've got. Hey, and we could use this for good. So, if we I know we've got a lot no of twos. Fours. Only yeah, only Mark four. doesn't want to be a four because <laughs> the whole point of being I a four I is you're the only one. I know one. three fours. Good thing about this though is like it helps us understand our strengths and our weaknesses. So if yeah. we yeah. say if we're like, uh, it can help you discover like self discovery mm -hmm. and for yourself. And often if you start to understand more about what you enjoy, what you like, maybe oh so that's why I struggle with this stuff. <laughs> Katie, you need to be isolated. Oh, um, I'm choking on water. Oh, choking on water. Choking okay. on water. Um, basically. <laughs> That's a chest cough. I know, I think it's... That's a chest cough. <laughs> These I'm are fine, scary I'm... times. Yeah. What, 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 what bit of the hospital have you been working at? It's um, classified. Classified? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here? Why, are you Why here did you right invite now? her? <laughs> no, it's okay, it's fine. It's fine. I was going to go spiritual this thing because I feel like we need to inject a little bit of spiritual this into it. Thank you. So basically, back in. we need to understand more about ourselves, but one of the main ways we can do that is by getting closer to God in yeah. this time. So when we... Uh, press into Jesus and understand more about who he is, he can start to reveal 
more about who we are. Um, and doing things like Enneagrams are really great, great things just to get our brain thinking and get us thinking about, oh, right, so actually God's created me to do this, so what should I, maybe I should go more along this line. What do you think you should focus on, strength or weakness in your life? Oh. Do you think you should? Do you think you should focus? Say, if you're a tennis player, should you focus on the forehand if it's your strength, or should you be good at forehand and backhand? I'm gonna switch it to a fighting perspective. Oh, because Mark the fighter yeah. would be different. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, <laughs> I like wrestling, and I, no, I'm joking. I'll switch it to football when it gets to me. Oh, well, I don't so know why basic. I chose tennis because I never never played tennis. <laughs> so, like, if you if, in in MMA, if you've got a like a weak point or something like that. Your your opponent's got to study you, so they've got to key in your weak point. So you should capitalize on your weaknesses and, and like it, even just being aware of your weaknesses is a starting point, and that's a big help because then you can like plan for there and you can put yourself in positions for you want to stumble and stuff like that. So but that's a really good point. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, with me um, playing football, quite clearly right footed. So when I'm in training, I'll be kicking the ball, playing it with my right foot. But I know that when the situation comes and I need to use my left foot, I will use my left foot. And I've just got to be ready to be able to use it. And I have actually gotten better with using my left foot just for that kind of like snap decisions. So I, I'd say pretty much work on your strengths, but always be aware mm -hmm. when your weaknesses will need to be used. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, like I guess... I try to use my strengths with the youth. Number three, I'm up on stage. You see me guys on stage too much. Mm -hmm. um, yep, amen. My weakness is it's, uh, <laughs> being a bit humble about it and uh, really struggling with my names on a big logo. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy t-shirts. Yeah, if you, want a t <laughs> if you guys want t-shirts, <coughs> let us know. But it even says in the Bible that in, I think in Romans or something like that, that our, his, his power is made perfect in our weakness. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so. I'll find the verse right now because we've not actually said a Bible verse in yeah. this yet. <laughs> so well, I had it there. That's, that's like a massive thing because often you see, like, I, I mean, before I was a Christian, I would say things like, oh, I would, like, like, I would specifically focus on my weakness and be like, oh, I could never do that. I knew in my Christian life and, po like, post-salvation, I can see, like, no, I've definitely, like, grown in that area yeah. and stuff like that. So almost, like, my my weaknesses have almost become a part of my, my strengths almost and that's because of yeah, God yeah. and not na because I've done like I've barely done them it's because of God's power and it's it's as I said it's made perfect in weakness for the verses so it's in it's in two Corinthians twelve and Paul was a uh, a really amazing man like he actually persecuted wanted to kill Christians and then got radically saved believed in Jesus so if you're watching this and you're like I'm never gonna be a Christian I hate Christians like Jesus can turn your life around. If you, if you come to him. And Paul was struggling with something. He had a weakness and he took it to God. It says this in 2 Corinthians 12. Three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me. He's speaking about his weakness. But then he says, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in my weakness. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Oh, time oh. done. I'll finish this. So, for when we are weak, although we have our strengths and they're good, but if we hand our weaknesses to God, yep. He can use it and it can be a place for Him to move powerfully. Powerfully. Amen. Amen. What do you think, Katie? What's your weakness? I'm joking. Ask, I'm joking. Ask questions on the spot. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. That was really intense, wasn't it? Answering questions on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> My um, that's your. No, there sorry. we go. Um, so I hope that that's kind of fed you a little bit, and you know, we want to be here, to still be able to give you a teaching, um, in a different situation. Hanging out. So yeah, but can we do the last bit of this in a different accent? But I don't really know. No. <laughs> I don't really know how to do my Jacksons. Um, it is still recording. Yeah. Still um, recording, everybody. Oh, oh. Take. oh, sweet baby NASCAR. Woo. Oh, it's still recording. We're still, we're still, still on. We're still I on. cannot believe Sophie is still asleep. <laughs> Can I? I'll show oh, right. she's Go still asleep. Over. Round of applause. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Wait, guys, let's. To end it, we'll do a we'll do a lullaby. Well, we've got a, like well, I get my guitar. Thing, we'll so get my guitar. Just 
just another light little plug, just any ideas, throw them our way. Keep it coming. We want to be as entertaining as possible. Somebody so help me. We, um, like, Sophie, happy. go help. <laughs> <laughs> the camera's like in a really funny situation right now. What, we're going to sing for Sophie? Wait. Rock of my soul. Guitar's crazy. I move, I move the mic. Okay, let's get in here. You sound nice. Wait, we sing Thunderstruck. Me? Yeah. What's your sound is sound nice? play guitar. Day man. Oh. No. Let me just really twinkle, quickly. Twinkle, 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 twinkle. You can rock a bye, baby. I'll rock a bye. I'll just do rock a bye, Sophie. Are you ready, Sam? No. Let's One sec. If you're ready, come and get it. Na 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 na. Can we not sing a Christian song? That I know. Um. You can rock, just rock a bye. Twinkle, 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 little star. How I wonder what you are. What about <laughs> we could do? What about something like? Whom the sun sets free, but who is free? Yes, he's up. He's single legend. You've got the good voice. <laughs> we need a better song. God. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Sleepy sleep, sleepy sleep, <laughs> sleepy sleep, sleepy sleep, 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 sleepy sleep, sleepy sleep, sleepy sleep. Sleep, 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 sleep